So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason you're getting this little software update complete panel and you're not able to exit out of it. Maybe when you click continue it tells you about your SIM card or your SIM's not supported and it goes back to the hello screen. Now if you're stuck here, this could mean a couple of different things. But a Redditor actually went ahead and worked out this image from, posted about this a while ago, and these comments actually gave you some really good suggestions. So the first thing that I would personally recommend, recommend doing too is to go through and just restart your iPhone. So go through, hold down the power button and the volume down button on your iPhone, depending on which iPhone you have, slide the power off. So just go and slide the power off that thing. And what you wanna do is you wanna go in and lock it again once you power back on, and you wanna see if you're able to go through the setup as you normally would. For a lot of people, that's probably all you're gonna to have to do, and that's probably what I'd recommend doing as well. So try going through, trying to fix it that way, and that could, like I said, very well end up fixing the problem for you. Now, if you do that and that's not you know, working, some other people recommend it actually going through and inputting your SIM card in and removing it. Sometimes there can be some SIM card issues that you may be having with your iPhone. So if you have a physical SIM card, go through, find that SIM card tray, and remove that SIM card from your iPhone. Now with the iPhone 15, we don't really have it. So if you're not able to remove your SIM card and rebooting your iPhone's not working, you may want to contact your cell phone carrier. So what this means is basically you call your people at T-Mobile or AT&T or Verizon, wherever you have, what they recommend you doing there is to go and let them know what's going on with your particular iPhone and then contacting them and seeing what happens. If they help you out, then that's awesome. If they're not able to help you, you may want to contact Apple and Apple support and have them like kind of, kind of like take a look at your iPhone. If you have to take it to the Apple store, you can. And you just want to see what's going on because you know your iPhone should be able to go and update perfectly fine. You may have to plug it into your MacBook or iMac or Windows PC and you know update it that way too. But those are basically the main ways to go and fix it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.